Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today I've got this crazy cool guitar to share with you. It's been chopped up, modified, played in a million smoky bars, but it sounds incredibly cool. Let's check it out. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode. This week, I'm bringing you guys another crazy modified vintage guitar, and this one from 1967 once was a standard Fender Telecaster, but someone has gone in and done some very invasive mods, chopped this thing up, and turned it into something completely different. It's got some amazing playware going on. We'll take a look at all the details of this guitar. And of course, I'll play the different pickup positions. These are patent sticker Gibson humbuckers from the 1960s. Uh, and it definitely has a unique sound like nothing I've ever heard with the playability of a Tele, but the sound of a Les Paul. So uh, let's get into this thing. I wanna start out for you guys and just play the clean tones on these pickups. Uh, it's a really sweet sound and it's got this slinkiness uh, with the Tele design. So uh, let's take a quick listen and we'll get into the story behind this guitar. Mm -hmm. All right, let me know in the comment section what you guys think, but this thing has a really sweet tone. The combination of these uh, mid-60s patent sticker humbuckers and what's most likely an Indian rosewood board. Um, sometime in the mid to late 60s, I believe, Fender changed from the Brazilian rosewood to the Indian rosewood. Uh, and then also, of course, we have a maple neck. So uh, this is a really unique guitar. It's, it's not quite a Tele, but not quite a Les Paul either. It's somewhere in between. Um, so I got this from a friend of mine who actually uh, allegedly bought it from a pawn shop, I believe somewhere in Tennessee. I don't remember the complete story. It's been a couple years now. And this was pretty much how this guitar uh, was found. Someone chopped off the original Telecaster bridge plate here so that they could, they could fit in the uh, Gibson style humbucker like so. And then we have the Gibson humbucker in the neck as well. This is the original pit guard that was cut to fit. And all the workmanship here, to be honest, is kind of, you know, a backyard job. But what's cool about this is that the complete harness, the pickups, the pots, and the three-way switch here were all pulled from a probably mid to late 60s Gibson SG or something like that. And so this creates a really, really cool guitar. They even use that, that same Gibson style switch. And then it does have the veneer uh, rosewood fretboard. It's missing a dot here at the 12th fret. I refretted it with 6105. Uh, Jeskar frets put a new nut in place. And otherwise, this guitar is all original besides uh, the body was stripped at some point. You can actually see some original finish here up towards the uh, butt end of the neck. And this is one that I've just had hanging around the house and I pick it up every once in a while um, if I need a certain sound for recording or whatever. Uh, I've used it, but uh, I'm just finally getting around to uh, making the full YouTube video for you guys. So I wanna hear from you. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, is it okay to put Gibson humbuckers in a Fender guitar? I mean, pretty much now it's, it's normal. Uh, you can buy off the shelf strats with humbuckers. I mean, that probably started back in the, 80s or 90s, but um, going this far, uh, chopping up a guitar to do this, um, I don't know, you wouldn't do it today to a uh, 60s telly, but this one is guilt-free, it's already been done. So uh, it's it's really cool because you get this, you know, slinky kind of um, 
Fender Tele feel on the fretboard. And, uh, you know, my favorite neck and uh, fretboard. And then you get the Gibson sound out of these humbuckers. Now, it's never going to quite sound like a Les Paul because you have a different scale length. But uh, all the electronics are the same. So there must be something to say for the different scale and different materials used on a guitar rather than just the electronics. But one of the most amazing features about this guitar is the neck. This one has a nice full C shape, almost like a U shape they were doing on these tellies uh, around this time period. And this is right before Fender ultimately started using poly on the necks. So this is the original nitro finish. Um, and it's it's been played in a million smoky bars. It's got this beautiful kind of orange tint to it. And you can see someone's played a lot of the uh, finish off and it just feels like glass, man. Uh, that's, that's why I love these necks. And then with the uh, taller frets, it just plays like butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and step on an overdrive and have a little fun with this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this telly, the sound of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.
See y'all later. Peace.